Hey guys, Facebook family, Key Fitness family. Thanks for uh, all the overwhelming people that showed up and showed support for the um, customer appreciation day yesterday, bombshell boot camp day. It turned out pretty well. I enjoyed it. Um, I hope y'all guys enjoyed yourselves when it came. And we're thinking about maybe doing another one in February. We was doing it annually every October, but because so many people asked we should do it more often maybe we do another one maybe in february kind of like you know and really people get into the gym into the gym scene you know people always start their their journey in january and february and um that would be a good idea so anyway thanks a lot um i'm gonna let y'all guys know probably tuesday because we had a drawing and i don't know if you guys know but uh the drawing is for two month free membership one personal training session and um, we also have a, a second drawing for uh, some Farm Bureau uh, it's a chair. It's a chair and some other goodies that Farm Bureau donated to us. And that's going to be like one of the prizes too. Anyway, um, one of the questions that, and I get many questions. So I'm writing them down. I'm kind of like picking them out. One of, the, one of the main questions I was asked last week probably yesterday and it was, it was a in-depth conversation is why strength training is so important and I've got this this question over the years especially for women guys pretty much by default by ego they want to strength train anyway because they want big muscles and they want big arms and big chest but so many women don't realize the importance of, of strength training and I got the Sun in my eyes I'm loving it's a beautiful day today um, the reason why strength training is, is just as important, probably even more important for women is because, I mean, for, for one, you want to build bone density, you know, and then you also want to build strong muscles as you grow, especially as you grow older, because you think about it, when I used to go to the, to the, the rest home with my, my wife, you know, visit her grandmother. It's two common things I've seen while people, while most people are even in there. It's because of Alzheimer's, dementia, or because of lack of strength that they can't take care of themselves anymore. If you take those two and you gave them, you made them completely strong and their mind was intact and, and totally just uh, aware, they can probably live forever. I mean, if you think about it. So strength training is that important. Um, okay, why? The, the, the main question is why strength training is important. The reason why is because um, you, you always want to, to get stronger and maintain your strength as you get older and older. So really I train harder as I get older, believe it or not. I'm not talking about heavy weight. See, heavy is relative. I mean, if, if five pounds is heavy to you, then that's your, your heavy weight. If 105 pounds is heavy for another person, then that's their weight. It's, it's not about a competition of who can lift the most weight. That's ego lifting. Now we're going down to the, you know, the, the teenager thing. That's totally irrelevant. It's, it's about how much stress you put on your body so it can adapt and get stronger for the next attack. And that's the importance of it. That's why we should strength train. Because your your body has to it has to be up under some stress because if it don't it's it's like this. I'm trying to say this where it makes sense because all this is philosophical stuff. This is me vomiting all my thoughts. Um you what we were created, our bodies are created to adapt to whatever stress is under. Okay? So if I'm lifting weights, if I'm lifting 100 pounds, the same I'm benching 100 pounds, what my body does, what you're doing, you're destroying muscle fibers, okay? You're tearing down muscle fibers when you, when you work out, when you train. And what your body does, it says, okay, I have to build back more muscle fibers, but this time, I'm gonna build, them, build it back stronger and bigger for the next attack. And then you tear them down again. Because that's the main thing in strength training. You're only tearing down muscle fibers. And then your body's building it back up because tissues die and then tissues be reborn and rebuilt because in order for something to be 
rebuilt or born again, something has to die. And that's the point of strength training. So if you don't strength train, think of it like this. Muscles, your, 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 your muscles still die, cells still die, but it has no reason to build back. Why would your, why would your body even build back muscle because it's not using it for anything, it's, it's totally useless. It's like, it's like you're in a house because your, 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 your body is built to, to be economical. You know, it's like you're living in a house and if you're not using the room, what you do, you cut off the lights because you're going to conserve power. See, what your body does is not going to build muscle if it doesn't need it. It's, it's, it's pointless. And that's, the, that's the, the theory of adaptation. It has to adapt to the stresses under. So this is the importance of strength training. It's not about just losing weight, which is, which is important. It's not about just looking good, which is also important because you, know, you want self-esteem and you want to look good in your clothes. That's very important. It's, it's about health and wellness first, and then by default, you, you're stronger. By default, you look good in your clothes. By default, you look good anyway, you know? So that's the importance of it. So I'm saying, ladies, and I don't have to tell you guys because you, you, pretty, much, you pretty much know this, or it's something you want to do anyway. You always want bigger muscles. Do not avoid strength training. Don't default just to cardio because you just want to get smaller because uh, all right, let me get a little deeper in. You just do cardio. Your body's gonna. It, it, cardio is just what what it really says. Cardiovascular. So what you're doing, you build up your heart and your lungs. Okay, that has nothing to do with skeletal muscles. All right. Now, if you're not using your skeletal muscles and all you're doing is cardio, what your body gonna do is gonna eventually start eating away muscle. It's gonna start getting rid of muscle, getting rid of muscle because it doesn't need it. Remember, it's all, it's all about efficiency, it's all about economy. It says, if I don't need this muscle, then I'm going to let it go. It's useless to me, and it's going to let it go. Not only that, you, you decrease bone density also, which is very important for women. Women need bone density. Strength training also builds bone density. I'm, I'm sure many of your doctors told you that. So that's another important. It's always about building up. So it's... It's, it's like this, cardio and weight training should be neck and neck, it should be even keel because you need both of them. You need your cardiovascular system strong, you need your skeletal muscle strong. And that's the importance of it. So so don't, and, and you're not gonna look like a bodybuilding woman. That's, that's, that's another thing I struggle with. Probably, I would say 50% of the, of the lady clients that signed up with me, the first thing they say is, they think of a bodybuilder, probably local, or even in a bodybuilder magazine. Uh, I don't want to look like her. You know, I don't want to lift weights and lift heavy and, and look like her. And then my, my main reply that I always say every single time is, don't worry, you won't. For number one, uh, you don't have the t testosterone to actually build that type of muscle. Those women, female bodybuilders, at that level are taking male testosterone. They're taking steroids. You have to have male testosterone to build a certain amount of muscle. And women just don't have that testosterone. Men produce that type of testosterone. It's like men have to take even more testosterone to build really, really big muscles to become more of a superhuman type of, of or exaggerating type of, of muscle on their body. And I don't care how hard a woman trains, I don't care what kind of weight she lifts, she would not look like one of those women in the magazines that you might see because she just don't have that type of, she's not producing that type of testosterone. So, but probably the main thing she gets get um, firm and toned. That's it. And not only that, if you go to that, that extreme, not many people are willing to put in that type of time and effort and stress and diet to actually get to look like that. Just put the drugs aside. It's a lot of work and very few people are willing to put in that type of effort. It, 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 if you knew what was what was what it took to get to that point, it, you wouldn't even think about doing it. And so, that's one thing that I struggle with. So, ladies, like I discussed yesterday with a person, um, you really have to make sure you do your strength training. Yes, you might gain a couple of pounds because you're going to gain muscle and you're going to gain bone density. But when you step on a scale, you got to look at 
what kind of weight you losing. Are you losing fat? Are you losing water? Are you losing bone density? Are you losing muscle? Because it's going to be four different things you can lose. And just because the scale is going down, don't necessarily mean that's a good thing. You can be losing muscle mass. You can be holding on to fat. Matter of fact, you can be gaining some fat and losing muscle mass and losing bone density and think, hey, everything is great because the scale is going down. But in, in, in reality, in actuality, you're actually getting unhealthy. And that's not a good thing. Your bones are getting frail and your muscles are getting frail. Then as you get older like that, you know what? It's not going to be a good thing. So you always train uh, resistance training and cardio because what cardio is going to do not only just burn uh, not only just build muscle uh, cardiovascular health is it also burn extra calories and then when you build muscle you're going to burn extra calories also because muscle is living tissue and the more muscle you have the more calories you're going to burn uh, i'll give you an example if you take two 150 pound women and you sit them side by side on a couch watching TV doing absolutely nothing the woman with more muscle is going to burn more calories than, than the woman with less muscle even though they're identical weight because the woman that has less muscle has more fat storage and that's her weight now fat does not burn calories muscle does so guess what when you have more muscle you're going to be burning more calories than the other person person you look exact weight. This is why muscle is so important. That's your that's part of your metabolism. It needs energy to survive. It's just like a a, a motor in a car. Well if you take a, a four-cylinder in, in a V8, well heck the same amount of distance that V8 is just gonna burn more fuel because this is a bigger motor. So by default it's gonna use up a lot more you know fuel just like your muscles does. And that's the importance. Uh, I see, a, I see a lot of people tuned in. I, I hang around. Um, yeah, I hope y'all guys enjoyed the. Uh, okay, I'm looking at the comments. Yeah, I'm glad y'all guys enjoyed the um, the uh, bombshell boot camp that's in the classes and my boot camp that was outside. Yep. Anyway, I hope I answered a lot of you guys' questions about resistance training because I've been getting it uh, pretty much off and on for a long time. And I'll discuss it yesterday and somebody mentioned, hey, why don't you just you know, discuss it tomorrow when you do your, your live chat. And I did. So I, I hope I made sense of it all because a lot of it is I'm just regurgitating what's in my mind, what's in my head. Um, like I said, resistance training is important. Weight training is important, especially for women. Do not avoid it. Do not default just to cardio, elliptical, and treadmill to lose weight. Always keep your resistance training in there because you want to keep your muscles strong. Not only that, you want to keep muscles because you want something that's going to burn calories. And not only that, your muscles is your looks too. So your muscle is shape. Fat is not shape. Fat is blobbish. So you don't want to be a skinny fat, is what we are called, because you can be 110 pounds and don't have much, doesn't have much muscle tone and, and, and be a lot of fat, and there's no shape. So you want shape. Anyway, keep the questions coming, guys, and um, I hope this video helped you out. You know, share it, and you know, subscribe, and I'll see y'all guys at the gym. See you later.